The Daquino Castle The old village of Fratta is overlooked by the Daquino Castle, belong to different feudal families that ruled over the barony of Grottaminarda over the centuries. Since 1988, it has been part of the municipal heritage. The original structure of the fortress probably dates back to the early Middle Ages and was enlarged about in the first half of the 12th century. In the same time were also built the defensive walls of the medieval village, as already documented by the Codice Diplomatico Virginiano in 1137. It is possible to recognize clear traces of these walls walking in direction northeast along the Gorge Palombara, where the ruins of the walls are still visible. The castle of Grottaminarda, which has a trapezoidal shape, has been damaged by several earthquakes and consequently many times rebuilt or adapted to housing usage of its owners. A document of 1351 describes the castle without any doubt as still being used for an active defense. From old sources, we know that the manor was fortified with new defenses by the Marquis Ladislao d'Aquino between 1501 and 1503, with the construction of a new outside wall, a moat and a drawbridge. After the earthquakes of 1694 and 1732, a part of the castle was transformed in a luxury home and using the old defensive structures in the southern section was built a residential area on the first floor while in the behind section was created a roof garden enclosed and furnished with a terrace with lookout on the gorge Palombara. This space is really striking for the landscape the architectural quality of the rooms and a still admirable composite botanical heritage. The old defensive structure displays the outlines of the outside walls, which along the side facing northeast are 10 meters high and have corner towers dating back to Aragonese age whose faces are made up by lines of bricks alternated with fluvial or calcareous stones of different size and shape. All the elements are bound together by thin layers of mortar. At the corners of the side facing west, in a position that overlooks the gorge below, that for its rich vegetation is still a real green lung for the town, it is possible to admire the cylindrical southern tower with a sloped base about 14 meters high and a northern tower with a square plant of which only the walls of the lower level have been preserved. Other two massive corner towers with sloped base are located in the eastern and western side and have more or less the same dimensions. Their facades look respectively at Rione Fratta and at the urban area entirely rebuilt after the earthquake of 1980, which surrounds the Collegiate of Santa Maria Maggiore. On this side, the outside walls have a length of more than 30 meters, the same as on the other sides, while on the western side, the boundary walls have a total length of more than 40 meters. Both inside the towers and between the interposed walls and the buttresses, there are still communication trenches and striking barrel vaulted underground passages, forming a system of caves and galleries partly not yet discovered. In some cases, it is possible to see traces of the gulf battlement at the summit of the walls. Fratta. The old town center is made up by Rione Fratta, the original village of the old crypta, whose existence is already attested in a document of 1176. It is a group of typical houses with only one floor, whose outside walls have no plaster but are considerable thick. They are made of calcareous stones of different size, 
mixed with fluvial stones and bound together by cement mortar. The inner part of these houses is made up only by one room with a surface of about 30 square meters, is not furnished with electricity and sanitary fittings, but with a fireplace of modest dimensions that in the past was also used for cooking purposes. The entrance door, with a wooden or sculpted stone architrave, is often preceded by a stonework staircase, which leads to the surface of the cobbled paving streets that, with considerable slope, still go through the medieval village now completely uninhabited.